Anthony Wayne was born in eastern Pennsylvania in 1745. During the Revolutionary War, Colonel Dandy Wayne had a mixed record, but he gained fame in a daring night attack on the British at Stony Point, New York. His nickname as Mad Anthony may have either come from Stony Point or more likely from a soldier complaining that his severe discipline methods at Valley Forge were stark mad. By 1792, he was 47, a retired army general, and attempting to be a businessman without great success. His old commander, now President George Washington, called on him after the disastrous defeat of General St. Clair's army at the hands of the Wabash Indian Confederation which was formed to resist the accelerating incursions into the lands between the Ohio River and the Great Lakes. This confederation included Miami people led by the military genius Little Turtle. Wayne trained his new army for two years before advancing slowly north from Cincinnati's Fort Washington, building a series of five forts, including Fort Recovery in April of 1794 and Fort Defiance in early August 1794. These forts served both to protect the supply lines and provide refuge for the soldiers during the continued attacks by the native forces. At the Battle of Fallen Timbers on August 20, 1794, the Americans defeated an estimated 2,000 warriors gathered for a final confrontation near the mouth of the Maumee River. This victory marked the end of that period of Indian resistance until the war flared again in 1811. Wayne's methodical campaign one of the least mad military actions he ever led, enabled Wayne to negotiate the Treaty of Greenville a year later in 1795. It opened about half the Ohio Territory to settlement from the former colonies. In the treaty, the U.S. agreed that everything else was native land, from north of the Ohio River, east of the Mississippi River, and west and south of the Great Lakes, at least until the next treaty. Ultimately, this treaty signifies to Americans the birth of Ohio. To native nations, it was the first of many more treaties in which the U.S. claimed the land they had relinquished at Greenville. After the victory, Wayne's troops moved to the center of Indian resistance, Miami Town. That fall, they built a sixth fort of his campaign, which the new U.S. War Department named Fort Wayne. He stayed for one month for the construction. Then he left, never to return to Fort Wayne again. He died at the age of 51 in 1796 in Erie, Pennsylvania. Little Turtle, whom both Wayne and Washington considered to be a great enemy, is quoted as having said of Wayne's campaign, We have beaten the enemy twice under different commanders. We cannot expect the same good fortune to attend us always. The Americans are now led by a chief who never sleeps. We have never been able to surprise him. Think well of it. There is something that whispers to me that it would be prudent to listen to his offers of peace.